Good morning and welcome back to Log Cabin Firewood. Today, we are going to split up some of this maple that we loaded up last week with the excavator. Stick around. So here we go, this is the pile of rounds that was in the trailer, plus the uh, couple pieces of maple over here in the back that I had stacked up. I wheeled those over with my push cart, uh, as well as these couple pieces of beach here. But we'll go ahead and get the old 916 and the conveyor fired up and we'll see what we can get split up. All right, we are back. Howdy, howdy. So a few things have changed here since I recorded the last piece you were watching. Uh, as you can see behind me, I kind of regraded the yard. Um, you know, I'm not a professional grader, but it doesn't look bad. I got to get a little bit of topsoil, sprinkle it on there, and put some seed down here soon. But... Behind me, I'll show you here in a sec, they started excavating for the footer and for, they started excavating for the footings for my neighbor's new house. Um, so I was talking to the guy and he was like, hey, you know, I got a bunch of dirt I'm gonna have to get rid of. I'm gonna have to haul it about, you know, an hour away. Well, my neighbor across the street ended up taking most of the dirt 
And I said, look, if you give me your keys to your skid loader, I'll get a good bit of it spread out over here. He said, oh yeah, keys are in it, I'll see you tomorrow. But this is what we have going on next door right now. Uh, the people that demoed the house actually cracked the foundation on the front, so there was a good piece of the foundation they had to take off on the front of the house. But they are doing quite the uh, extensive add-on to their house here. And you figure just on the other side of this mound of dirt is going to be their house. And I do firewood right here. So there's going to be about 20 feet between their, my east and maid and their house. Oh, well. Uh, but yeah. I did end up splitting a little bit more the same day that the uh, tree guys, or not the tree guys, the same day that the contractor showed up. Um, and I got that big piece of gum. Uh, what is it? It was this one, and this one was that stump of the gum tree, and then that one, and that one was the maple. And then there was that little piece of another gum tree sticking up. They uh, cut that down and gave it to me. But it was a uh, gator contracting or gator excavating. I forget who it was. It was Wally and Chris. Uh, they're local to us. They were actually at Brad's, Brad from Firewood at the Furnace's first fellowship at the Furnace. They both looked very familiar. And they came over to me and they were like, hey, are you Brad? I was like, no, nah, I'm not Brad, but thanks. Because um, they noticed the conveyor. It still says Firewood at the Furnace on it. I just never took the logo off. And... Uh, we got to talking and they were like, oh yeah, we saw you there last year too. But, so yeah, it was uh, kind of cool to see them. Uh, you know, some local boys getting some work, uh, you know, right next door to me. And it was really nice of Gator Wally for just handing me the keys to his skid loader. And I did fill it up with diesel fuel. Um, you know, I'm not like that. I don't care if you tell me not to put fuel in your equipment. I'm, I'm going to fill it up. <laughs> or at least replenish what I have used. Uh, but super cool dudes, not very many people will just hand you the keys to something and say, we'll see you tomorrow. Uh, I mean, uh, that Kubota skid loader was probably a $100,000 piece of equipment. Um, it was a pretty big one. So, uh, you know, thank you for trusting me and uh, yeah, helping me out, helping me get some free dirt and letting me regrade my backyard from when they messed it up from digging the well. Let's stop yapping and get this Easton made fired up and get this little bit of maple, gum, and American beach split up and into the trailer.
Well, we got through everything except for one big piece of maple, half a piece of gum, and then half of this little round that I used to get that big piece of gum unstuck. Miss Veda over here has been taking her treasures. She's been grabbing what she wants to grab occasionally and just uh, bringing it out and chewing on it. But I have to go to work. I was hoping to get this done before I go in. Uh, I woke up a little bit early this afternoon and said, let's get some of this taken care of. Uh, with Taryn being away, um, she's in Korea. Uh, the neighbor, Mr. Paul, has been helping us out with the little girl. So she doesn't have to stay here alone because we love our baby. And we have to kennel her because she's crazy. She, uh, she just has super high anxiety. Uh, she can't be she can't stand being left alone But I'll come back tomorrow. We'll get this stuff the last Two and a half pieces split up and get this stuff stacked. See you then Well, I saved you guys the boring parts of uh, stacking the trailer, but we got another Two cord stacked up here. Now. This wasn't all from today But there's another row that's completed and then this here is just going to be sold as heating wood when it seasons. And this stuff here is the start of bundle wood since it was nice and straight and pretty and not naughty. So there's another two and a half face cords there of that. So we've got a good bit of wood here. Um, the cherry and locust I'm keeping for myself. This was the stuff uh, from the two videos that I put out called the mother load. I can put a link up here. For those two videos, uh, the guy, my buddy Zach, um, he actually just called and said that where I picked this stuff up from, there's more trees down. So we're going to go look at that here soon. So maybe we'll get a video of that stuff. But this gives us two, four, six, seven, nine. So we've got two, four, six, seven, nine. Almost 11 cord here. Actually, I guess it's almost... 10 because that's almost a full cord there two face cords and a half that we've got uh stacked up i'm going to get some tarps on this and we'll be ready to go but that is going to be everything for today i hope everybody has a great rest of your weekend a safe fun week take care of each other and we will catch you back here next saturday at 6 30 a.m thank you so much for watching